Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the performance of the Elsa 700 without flashing the VBIOS. So as you can see, my PPT is 170. If you watch my previous video, it was at 158. So I have increased that and the core clock, I can increase it all the way to 2100, which is the maximum. I think it was at 1850 before. So what I want to do first is show you the stress testing performance. So as you can see, the GPU core clock is going over, you know, 1850 is hitting just under 2000, but I have um, under voltage debt, so it's at 1025, just to um, decrease the wattage and the temperatures. So that is the reason why I under voltage debt, but trying to keep the clock as high as I can. If I do increase the clock to um, 1200, we do get a bit more performance, um, just over 2000, but the heat that we generate is way too much and the wattage we're pulling is quite a lot and we're not getting as much performance as um, keeping it at 1025. So um, that is the reason why I kept uh, the voltage a little bit lower, just to sacrifice a bit of performance but to lower the temps quite a lot. So the hotspot does get to about 90 degrees at some points. Um, if I did increase it to around 1150 or 1200, it does get quite a lot. And that's with an open case. Open case. If I did have it closed, I'm sure it would have reached over uh, 100. So that is the reason why I kept it a little bit lower. But every card is a little bit different if you do play around the t with the tool and you know, adjust it to your kind of liking, then, you know, you can mess around with whatever you want. But I just wanted to give you a kind of like stable um, scenario of the values that I was using. All right, so I'm going to close these windows down and I'm going to show you my fair mark results that I got from my stock and um, the, overclock, the overclock that I've done. Um, and as you can see, there's a massive difference, 130s. And now I'm getting 150s. Temperatures are a little, temperatures are a little bit higher, but that is um, expected with more power that we're getting. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use the tool now. So it's from Igor's lab, and I'll put a link in the description. It's called More Power Tools, and I'm using one version 1.3.19. So what you need to do is just download that. After you've done that go to your GPU-Z and save your VBIOS. So I'll show you how to do that. You just press that little icon there, save file. And I've already got it saved, so I'm not gonna save it at that point, but you'll press save and it'll save on your desktop or wherever you wanna save it. Close that and then go to your More Power Tools application, right click and open as admin. And then you select your GPU, so it's 5700 here. And then what you'll do is you load your VBIOS that you saved. So press the load and select your VBIOS um, file. Open that and now go to your overdrive limits and change your limits to 2100. As you can see, it was 1850, that was max. Um, and then what you want to do as well is if you want to change other limits, you can, but I didn't. I left as it is and as you can see it was 158 stock so I'm going to change it to 180 this time just to show you that it's changing from 170 to 180 and just frequency as well I'm going to change it to 2100 and then all you do is write SPPT and that will save it to your registry it wouldn't overwrite your VBIOS and that make that's what makes it safer and then what you'll do is reboot it and that's all you need to do and that will come back in and as you can see 180 watts after you've done that obviously you can now play around with um, msi afterburner play around with your voltages frequency get the best kind of result you can make it stable and that's all it is guys one thing to note is if you do a amd driver update it will go back to your stock settings so you'll have to go back and change those settings again and purely because it doesn't save to your you know vbios settings file it is saving to the registry I mean, it's a lot safer than doing a V BIOS flash because you might, you know, if you're not a um, pro at it, then you might mess it up. So I would go with this approach instead. Um, gives you a bit more flexibility. Um, guys, if you haven't subscribed, uh, <laughs> do that now. 
it will be um, helpful for me i'm trying to make more videos in the future that will be you know beneficial for you guys um and if you have any questions write them down below i'll catch you guys in the next one peace